I wanted to make this video and go to answer this. And like my perspective is like not to cut out the pull requests and code reviews, like not at all. I think that they are helpful. And I, I realize as I've been talking through this, it probably sounds like I'm almost against them, but that's not the case at all. Like I am absolutely all for them, but I think that if you are in the groove of doing pull requests and code reviews and you're having conversations and, and the reviews and stuff are helpful and they're catching things, the natural progression of this kind of stuff in my opinion, is that we get to the point where we're like, hmm, like I, I, I see it every time, every team I've been on that does them, it's like the pull requests seem to be a bottleneck or I seem to have frustration because I have to go back and redesign. There's all these common things that keep coming up. And instead of going, okay, well then don't do pull requests, I say the pull requests are your, your safety net. What are all the things that you find are inefficient or frustrating? And like, how do we just move those checkpoints up sooner in your development process? I've made other videos on this where, uh, to exaggerate this, right? Forget the pull request. In other software development sort of workflows, I've, I've lived and worked in situations where you finish the thing and then you go, great, it's done. Let me give it to the tester now. And then the tester in like 10 seconds is like, this is bullshit, like it doesn't work, send it back. It doesn't mean that like the tester is the bottleneck and they're the bad person, so get the tester out of here. It just means that if someone's going to be going through something, like why don't you include them earlier? Because it's not like written as part of the software development law. Like if you know that they're going to be looking at the stuff, include them.